And welcome to the on-air segment of the South by Southeast podcast, um, where we bring you live entertainment to the comfort of your own home. Today, we have our good friends Jacob Taus, along with Tara and Tony of East Moon. Um, We'll be taking questions and comments throughout the duration of the performance. So let's fill the stream and enjoy our show tonight. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Yeah. 
sorry, baby, that's who we are, cause it's true. solos on acoustics <laughs> who cares Woo! got the point across thank you oh, thank you south by south east <laughs> on air podcast and why would i ever mess that up because <laughs> this is the east side where i was born and raised and the last song was called remember and uh it's about really remembering things sometimes, kind of like remembering where you came from, remembering who you are as a person. And especially in this one, it's about just kind of sometimes you're in a situation with the people you love, with friends, maybe even strangers, and you kind of got to step back and just kind of take into consideration that maybe there was miscommunication. Maybe you guys weren't on the same page or whatever. But there's no reason to forget who you are while also not sacrificing the fact that people are who they are. So that song is called Remember. Um, I guess it's pretty much on the same topic. The next song is called We Are. Um, that's pretty much our handle for everything at We Are East Moon, which is we're three-fifths of that. We also have DJ and Eric who couldn't be here. Cause mostly because they couldn't fit. But uh, obviously we love them. And we're here for that. My name is Jacob Taus. Fun fact, we're recording in the very basement where my first real band started. Recorded by my first real drummer, uh, Mike Alvarez. And <laughs> here, here's a funny That's story before we play this next song. <laughs> when uh, I was growing up, I actually hated music because my parents were musicians and something about it, like them always be playing music just made it seem kind of lame to me. I was like, I want to do something else. So I was really into basketball and uh, I realized I'm never going to be tall one day. <laughs> but I played at Rowan Park over here on the east side and I ended up on the same team as Mike. And one day, I remember specifically, the coaches used to always put their kids and their kids' friends in and me and Mike were always chilling on the bench and uh, one day, all those kids didn't show up. Me and Mike got to play the whole game, and we literally did whatever we felt like doing just because we were just happy to be on the court. And when we were done, we are like, yeah, let's just go start a band. And we legit jammed probably that weekend and made crappy songs with uh, Matt Shapeless. Actually, yeah, with Shapeless uh, was our bass player. We had a song called Ice Cream. Is this true? This is true. All right, man, I'm going to shut up, though. <laughs> let's play music, right? That's what we're here for. We like the stories. We like the stories. You do have a question, though. You have, where do you find motivation when times get tough? Well, okay. Um, Lori, when times get tough, it's hard to find motivation. I'm not going to lie. I actually struggle a lot trying to find motivation to even find motivation. <laughs> but seriously, like, uh, I guess I try to look towards the positive of things and, like, really always remember 
Well, there's that word again. Where things used to be and how things used to be. And, and no, like, sometimes I get frustrated because I'm not where I'd like to be. But I just try to remember, well, I did move forward. So maybe let's see what else, what else happens from here. And uh, you know what? At the end of the day, we are who we are.
So that's how it's called. We are. Thank you. So this <laughs> yeah, South by South East. All of these on air that you guys got podcast. coming through. What's that? You got a lot of questions coming through. Oh sweet. Um, Any for me. Give me um can you do me a favor, Krista? <laughs> Go for it. Pick some out. Please. Let's see. <laughs> we got what's your karaoke jam? That could be for anybody. Yeah, maybe, come on. maybe What's Tony. Up? Let's start with Tony Castanova. Yeah, What's your karaoke? If you had to sing karaoke, I stick to the classics, you know, like Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love the words. That song is so deep. <laughs> Literally. I mean, I love that. You know? Tara, what's your karaoke jam? I feel, I feel like it's a little purple. Probably a little, little Prince, a little, oh. little Prince, anything Prince. We gotta do Purple Rain. I could do that. I could see that. Um, I don't know. You know. I've been asking some of my coworkers who always talk about karaoke to go karaokeing for a while. And, uh, you know, we don't do it, but scary. we all will. <laughs> but I don't know. I like stuff that's dramatic because then, like, then other people, like, sing it with you. You know what I mean? If you're, like, acting it out. Because, like, karaoke is supposed to be fun. I know people take it seriously, but, like, if I'm going to do karaoke, it's going to just be silly. So what's up, AJ? Damn, South Avenue Catering. <laughs> I hope you brought tacos. <laughs> okay uh, um, We got another one Or should yeah, I Yeah we got What are some short term And long term goals Either of you Or any of you Have as musicians And as a band Well I could talk about the band I mean yeah. it's pretty much About the band right now Obviously I'm playing I'll do stuff by myself But I'm all about the band I hate playing acoustic Low key But For this environment It's cool I love the band vibe I want to be loud. I want to be aggressive. I don't want to be the only person there having fun. You know, like it, it has to be an environment. So as far as the band, East Moon, at We Are East Moon on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, YouTube probably. Yeah. I don't know. Facebook, just East Moon. But it's actually we are Facebook.com slash We Are East Moon. Just plug in that there because I got to, you know. Be below the collar. Slash we are East Moon. And I'll explain that right now also. Um, yeah, because you got a question on how did you come up with the name East Moon? Oh, shit. Well, I, hold on. Let me answer the long-term goals. Okay. The long-term and the short-term goals, first of all, we want to put out our music. We want to put out quality videos, like good stuff. Um, we wanna, and just basically after that and we're out, we want to just keep playing. We're almost wherever we can take it. Obviously, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. And then the long-term goals, I believe, is just stick together and see what happens. Because uh, uh, me and Tony were talking about this outside. Every person I ever met that inspired me, that I actually got to speak to, like Anthony Green, Daryl Palumbo, Dave Grohl even, they've all said, I'm like, what do I got to do? You know? And they're like, well, honestly, just don't quit. Just keep going. Just keep going. Put in the work and play as many shows as you can. Do whatever you can. And eventually... You know, if it's meant to be, it's, it's going to happen for you. So that's both the short and long term. Uh, the name East Moon, I don't know. There's really no rhyme or reason besides the moon rises in the east. East, yeah. East side. And we're from the east side, so that's our perspective of the moon is from the east side. So East Moon, you know, south by southeast moon. There you go. <laughs> You like that, don't you? You love that, don't you? Anyway, uh, <laughs> so let me uh, talk about this, this next song. And Mike, I don't know if you'd be down, bro, if you got some bongos or something, but. No, it's not here. Okay, not on the spot. I saw congas upstairs, but they're heavy. Yeah. And I don't know if we feel like having that time for that. So this song, uh, Tony, can you do me a favor? And just yeah. Down the road. First of all, I got these for Mike and Krista. These are not on our. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Nice. You didn't get me one. Shut up, Tony. You're in the band. Why is it always gotta be about you, Tony? Throw, throw it back over there. So, we have a, a merch store too. I know this is a lot of your first time hearing this band even play music, but we have a merch store. It's belowthecollar.com slash we are East Moon. And honestly, stuff like that helps us out. We're a band, we're a, an independent band that relies solely on ourselves. So any extra income 
definitely helps. And uh, that's for sure. So this next song, In This Basement, was written about 22 years ago or something like that. And I'm ashamed to say that because now I sound really old. Damn, you old. Damn, you old. So yeah, 22 years ago we wrote this song. Um, <laughs> like we used to have, we used to come down here on Friday before everybody, you know, was everybody got home from school. Me and Mike would come down here and Tony would go to his parents or whatever and we'd like light tea lights all over. The, there was ledges here and we'd light tea lights and we'd invite like all these people over and we'd sit down and we'd play the worst songs ever because we were not good. I mean, we were just like kids just learning, but it was cool. We all hung out. So I didn't really remember the second verse, but um, I figured let me adapt the second verse to these times. So the first verse is those times and now it's these times. So here we go. This song is called Afraid <laughs> <laughs> by Blister. <laughs> Which was at the time me, Mike, Tony, Taco. I've heard about that one. So here we go. Joe Neary. Yeah, Joe Neary. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, baby. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> There are many words to say, but none can explain today, cause tomorrow is today, always when it comes, go. talk a lot less because I talked a lot before. I got you. I'll talk. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this guy, I'm going to talk. Oh, it says, where can we find your music? You can answer that one. Why don't you answer? Uh, YouTube. You can look at our YouTube. At, is it We Are East Moon? Or? Yeah. But, I mean, if it's not, type in East Moon 
apartment sessions. We got four songs up there that was actually shot and edited by uh, Josie, who has her own photography as well. So let's plug her. Go ahead, Tony. Tell yeah, her. Tor Casanova. Uh, Facebook. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. she does all that photography stuff, all the good stuff. She's amazing. Yeah, wife, great photography. She's a real artist. Mm-hmm. Family. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, let's call a spade a spade. You're right. And then Tara, what do you do? Well, I'm under, I'm under wraps about some things, but I do have some uh, vegan treats coming soon. Ooh. A little uh, tease, tease. Really good. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> some of these people. Blow up the comments if you've had one of those cupcakes. Cause I haven't had one like. of those cupcakes. Oh, you yet. will. You will. <laughs> Yeah, just let us know. You want okay, okay, okay. All right, we don't have any with us, but that would have been funny, right? That'd have been like, yeah, just well, pull them out your pocket. Actually, <laughs> start actually. All right, so um, this next song is called Rock Candy, and it's um, it's just basically my inability to be satisfied sometimes, and I think everybody's kind of like that. But you know, you're kind of in a spot, and you're like, "This is cool," and then all of a sudden, you're like, "Meh." Maybe I could do something else. Maybe I could do something different or whatever. And so, yeah, that it, it's just about chasing a ghost and realizing it's never fucking worth it. So here we go. This song is called Rock Candy.
is still open. I search for you in the deep. I saw a glimpse of a past life where there was no guardian. Um, thank you. Like I said, too, I love playing with the band. So this is cool to do it acoustic. I appreciate all you guys, everybody here. I'm not going to name everybody because, honestly, I'm just out of it. So it's been a long day. And uh, I kind of want to just keep playing songs. You know what I'm saying? But thank you, guys. Honestly, it's so cool to do this, to be here for the opportunity. Um, it's so cool that, Mike, you guys or just set this all up and started doing it. I've known Mike a long time, and there's so many projects we started and never did anything with. So this is pretty awesome. <laughs> to be like, yeah, you guys are killing it. So it's cool. Uh, I saw a couple of the other people you guys were on there. Skyway Stereo was on there. Shout out. Um, fucking, sorry. Uh, who else was on here? Mass Attack was on here. They were really cool. I honestly really liked that strip, strip Down vibe too. That was really cool. So, this next song is, uh, again, I like to play with the band. All our songs sound a lot cooler with the band. So, you know, check out our videos on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. We got video clips on there. We got video clips on our Facebook. We are East Moon, or just search East Moon. We have a circular logo. So, if that helps you recognize us. Um, you got any questions? Any good questions yeah. out there? What do we got over here? Um, you have, I love your style of songwriting and like the riffs and progressions. Who or what are some inspirations in your writing? We're, do, we're doing long drive next, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's exactly the answer. Well, no, because uh, that riff, uh, I was just tuning my guitar. Yeah. I was like literally just tuning my guitar, you know, making sure every, all the chords sounded good. And then we all just started jamming. So, like, yeah, I think DJ started playing a drum beat and then Tara started playing some keys. Um, before you know it, we were just kind of going with it. And um, I don't think Eric got to be there that day, but we recorded a video and then sent it to him. And then he came back and was like, all right. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, wow, this is, is going to be a fun song. So, uh, unfortunately, they're not here. Thanks for setting it up like that. But <laughs> but it's all good. So, um, let's do it. This song's called Long Drive. It's on that, uh, it's, it's the first song on that YouTube video. So, if you like it, you can hear the full band version. One, two, three, four. Take a drive at night See the city lights Probably never Gonna get there I don't care Summer nights will intertwine Into this long drive, it could have been wrong place in time, but. 
Thank you. So we got one more song. Um, thank you again, guys. Appreciate every single one of you guys. South by South East on air podcast. Appreciate y'all. Do you guys have any questions for us in person? Oh. I think I know what you're gonna say. Let's hear it though. Yeah. Well, AJ, what's up? Uh, yeah, I followed you and, you know, Mike and your journey being, being young and, and everything, uh, you know, being like a little kid and growing up like down the block and like following Mike and having Mike take me along with shows. And, you know, I always admired your work as a guitar player, especially as like in the more earlier years as like your tech death sound. Oh, nice. And, uh, I just always wanted to ask you what made you transition into a more of an ambient sound because myself as a musician, did the same thing. And that's why I was such a huge fan of a lot of your work because it was exactly what, like, there's no one doing it. And I, I, I admired it because I, I wanted to play like that. Jacob, you've always been... Bro, I really, like, really, really, truly appreciate that, bro. No, it man, you know, we've been me. cool. I've always admired your work, but, you know, I started to bring up, like, Standing. Dude, Standing yeah. was an amazing band. <laughs> that whole sound. Cool. And fun. then when you guys created East Moon, it was just, like, more evolved. It seemed like you knew what you were doing better like more of a structure yeah just what that's how how i kind of felt so what was like what did it that made you transition from like such a heavy guitar player to like the sound you're you're writing now well it's funny because it was like a a, it's like a weird like uh i don't know a mountain trajectory when i started i didn't know how to play and the really what changed my mind about music was nirvana and i'm paying homage to kurt cobain right now in a shirt that you might have seen him sporting when he's upside down but uh when I when we started playing stuff like that, our first song was called Ice Cream, and it was literally and just making a bunch of noise, you know. So like, all right off the bat, I didn't like traditional music, even though Nirvana was popular, and it wasn't even like I can't believe how much more popular it is now, but it was still like pretty cool back then, you know. So everything I liked started getting heavier and heavier and heavier, and I was like, what we were all like, what do we do? How do we act more part of this scene? How do we be more metal? How do we break into the scene? We started doing all kinds of shows, playing Eagles Club, dirty basements, playing in places where people were getting stabbed. I remember one time we were waiting for a sound guy and somebody got stabbed. And then we kept going. Like, you know, that was like a lifestyle. But at the same time, it was like a lifestyle. So the more and more we're going to these shows, the more I'm like, man, some of these people kind of suck. And I'm not going to lie. Like, that's literally what started to change my mind about metal was... uh, and I'm not everybody's like that because I still got homies that are killing it in the metal scene. But I mean, even nowadays, you see a lot of stories coming out about this, this dude was a predator or this dude tried to murder his wife or blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, do you see these kinds of people? You know what I mean? As, as people, I was like, I don't know. I, I kind of don't feel it anymore. So then after getting as heavy as I could, I was like, we were like, I remember me and Alex before we started standing, we we're like, dude, let's just play rock music. <laughs> like, who cares? Like, who even cares anymore? And main thing, actually, that's actually a good segue to the next song. And I know you had a question, too. I'll follow up with that. But the next song is called SMS 8711. And he was like, what is that, a text message? It's an original song I actually wrote about 10 years ago because one of my best friends passed away. His name was Stephen Michael Sopsich. He was born in 87. He passed away in 2011. And he was the original singer of Standing before we went in. We were a hardcore band. And then... We kind of parted ways, but me and him were always still cool. And we, we started standing, and me and Alex looked at each other like, yo, let's, let's just try something all different, you know, whatever. Like, just not try so hard. Like, we've been trying hard to write these complicated riffs all this time. Let's just jam and have fun. And so we did that, and Steven encouraged it. He's like, man, you can sing. Because I, I wasn't the singer. He was the singer. He just screamed, and I went crazy on the guitar. But, uh, yeah, him leaving was like, I'm never going to be him. And I'm never going to find nobody like him. And so I was just like, time to do something new. That's it. You know, that's all there is to it. And a couple of years after that, like, I think we were hitting pretty good in 2009, 2010. And he passed away right in 2011. And uh, that was hard. You know, like I've, I've seen a lot of death in my life. When I was 13 years old, I watched my grandfather die. And I saw that effect on my dad. And that changed me as a kid. Like, I was just like, nah, shit ain't real. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so then that was, like, even a, a huge dagger because he was, like, younger than me. 
and I could not believe it. So, this next song is about him, uh, and about just, you know, in hindsight, for all of you, anybody, just the people we lost. Uh, did you have a question? What's up? Sorry. Uh, just out of all your influences, that... sorry. Just listening to you guys, um, I, I hear different influences. Um, out of all your influences, um, what song do you wish you wrote? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. Well, I. you guys want to answer too? Well, everybody can answer. Okay. I mean, just about. I'll, I'll start. In general. I'll start. And I don't know if this is going to, I don't know. This is a song that I like can't wrap my head around, even though it's kind of simple. It's Since I've Been Loving You by uh, Led Zeppelin. Um, I remember I heard Led Zeppelin a million times. You know, like some stuff you get so played out because you see the logos everywhere. And it's basically bands turn into Mountain Dew and Pepsi. You know what I mean? Like so like especially growing up, I kind of wanted to ignore bands that I saw everywhere. But one day I started getting more, especially in standing. We're getting more into like the classic rock, more into the Beatles, more into the Doors, and I got a live DVD of Led Zeppelin. Me and Tara, we literally watched it. We didn't have cable, so we watched it every day. And our friends would come over in the band. We'd all watch it, just analyze it. But since I've been loving, especially that live version, man, I was just like, I would love to play that song live. I would love to be in the, that band playing mm. this song. You know, just so for the time, so aggressive and. And it's just like, man, Jimmy Page is just going crazy the whole time. And I'm just like, this is crazy. So, yeah, that's the, qu- that's the answer. Taya? Uh, go to Tony real quick. <laughs> so Tony? Yeah, honestly, uh, anything. Uh, uh, I love, uh, like, the Cranberries, like their first, their first album. I love all their stuff. Um, so I would, man, anything that I could write uh, at that level. I wish, you know, I wish I did that. Uh, I'm going to go with a newer song. There's actually a uh, band called Ceremony. They're really post-hardcore, but really new wave. At the same time, I, I really like new wave music. And I would do Turn Away the Bad Thing, it's called. It's really, it's really dope. Really mixed with keyboards and guitar and drum. It's really dope. Yeah, that's a really cool song. <laughs> Good answer. So, um, yeah, it's going to be our, our last song. Uh, we're all about the future, you know, we're in the east, we're looking to the moon, and we may never get that far, but that doesn't mean we can't look that way, you know what I'm saying? So thank you guys all for joining us. Um, this is our last song. It's an original by me, but, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll turn it into an East Moon song, right? Or maybe, uh, maybe we'll break up after this. Yeah, sounds good to me. (laughs) Hey, next episode is behind the music. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four.
you, everybody. Good night. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you. Yeah. Check us out. We are East Moon. Thank you. <laughs>